So um, I started out really um, programming years ago, and VR was around. It was more of a closed platform that is specialized. Big companies have it. Uh, there's not much hardware or software that you know consumers can get a hold of and use. And recently, it's kind of gotten into a open market where you can go to the store, you can pick up your HTC Vive, and you can start programming for it. And that's really powerful for us developers because now we don't have to go to some big company and use fancy resources to do this. You can literally set up a shop in your bedroom and start programming. And so for Holopoint, that's great because I can come in and I can say, okay, well, what systems do I want the game to be on? I want it to be on HTC Vive. I want to try to get it on Oculus. Uh, there's some other systems that you know it might be good for. Then I can go to the store and I can pick those up and test it out, get to see and you know the system, and then say, okay, now let's let's develop for this. Uh, what what are the differences? And with Open VR, that becomes really easy because I just have to write one one version of the game exceptions in the logic of the game for different systems <clears throat> and uh, it will take that same game and then port it over to those games that or those systems that I tell it uh, are compatible and so it's great for gaming uh, the the systems themselves are going to be in a lot more homes in the future there it's going to be more readily available for both entertainment workouts uh, all the points used a lot for workouts a bit workout you know, weight vests on and, and play it. And uh, I can see it definitely becoming a, like a sport in the future because of this openness and, you know, people can get into it really easily. 